In 1910, Arga was built by a guy called Liljegren, who's a very famous Swedish uh, yacht designer. She was very, very forward in her looks and her design to her contemporaries. She competed in the Swedish uh, Olympics in 1912. Marga came fourth and they redid it, I think a year later, at the Jubileum Regatta. The same yacht, same crew, same everything, and Marga actually won. What was she like when you bought her? Oh my God, she was an absolute wreck. We spent 27,000 hours restoring her, everything from sails to planning and thinking and, uh, you know, scratching your head. We didn't cut corners, we built it to the same spec as she was in 1910, including the brass fittings, including the nails that you will never see for another hundred years, you know, all hand beaten, uh, all the rest. And we kept about 30% of the original yacht, including the original steel frames, which are very rare for 1910 yacht. So I found her in a shipyard, completely derelict. She had spent time in Sweden, she was converted into a houseboat, she was re-rigged into a catch. It's amazing that she's doing what she was actually built to do. When she arrived with the lorry from Denmark, she was abandoned. She was almost gone. We found uh, in a Swedish magazine of uh, 1911 the general plan of the boat. This is the old 110 years old keel. We scrape down to see the condition of the keel to be sure that the backbone of the boat was uh, still uh, able to get the weight of all the restoration. These are the nails. We made the mold and we cast exactly how they were. It's a wooden frame, steel frame, wooden frame, steel frame, wooden frame, steel frame, because with the same weight you can have more rigidity in the construction. The bow of the boat is amazing, it's like a pencil. All is made by hand by the carpenters, including the deck. How do they get that so exactly right? With uh, the ruler and experience. This is a technical launching. We wanted to know how she was sitting in the water because we had, I, I have to admit, a few doubts. <laughs> yeah. She must look uh, as a swan and she was, luckily. This is uh, the second or third uh, cup of champagne we had. And this is the first race in Saint-Tropez. And the dream come true.